Manny will go ahead and get your hands raised in the queue and we'll get going with him. What's up, guys? Uh, Bob Holt's going to kick us off. Go ahead, Bob. Hey, because I'm from Arkansas, I cover the Razorbacks. Obviously, Coach Odom's here now. Just what are your feelings about about playing him? Um, and just what are your feelings about him in general? Uh, I have a lot of respect for Coach Odom. Uh, I love him. Uh, he gave me a shot. Uh, just a kid out of Rock Ridge, you know. Uh, so I have a lot of respect for him and uh, things that he's taught me and the things that he has done for me. So uh, I just feel like the best way to respect him is to prepare to play him like I'm playing, or not even play him, but prepare to play the Razorbacks as if I'm playing the Super Bowl, you know what I mean? Just respect my opponent and, you know what I mean, just respect the game and study my film and, you know, just bring everything I got. And I feel like that's the best way to show uh, Coach Odom how much I respect him is to play hard, you know. Peter Ball from The Athletic, go ahead, Peter. Yeah, Martez, it'll be senior day for um, Josh Bledsoe and Tyree Gillespie. What is that kind of senior duo meant to you as a, as a fellow safety? Uh, it's meant a lot for me. I mean, those guys have, uh, you know, I mean, paved the way for me and just uh, were always believed in me and always was there for me throughout the season. You know what I mean? I learned a lot from those guys that I'm going to be able to uh, expand and use for the rest of my time here. I remember I said, I think before the Alabama game, I think it was around fall camp I said on here that I wanted to like really soak up and be a sponge around my teammates. And I feel like, you know, those guys have helped me do just that. I learned so much and I'm excited to see that what the future holds for them and thank them for everything they've done for this university. Mitch 40, Power Mizzou, go ahead, Mitch. Or does, I'm, I'm curious, how do you feel like this, diff this defense is, is different if at all from maybe a schematic or philosophical standpoint than last season? Um, I'd say that, I mean, we're just playing together. You know what I mean? We've, uh, last year we kind of, after the Vandy game, we kind of like went on the dry spell there. You know what I mean? We just, motions got flared and guy, I feel like guys are just kind of playing for themselves in a way, you know, but I feel like it's like we have a real family environment here at Mizzou and we're just really playing for each other. You know, I feel like that's a big thing that's been stressed this season is just playing for each other and just, having fun and enjoying the journey together because we know, like, you know what I mean? Who, we, they say that we have maybe three more games, but Arkansas could be our last game. Nobody knows with COVID, honestly, they could call the season tomorrow, you know? So we're just all just enjoying the journey and just playing for each other and just being there for each other. Dave Matter, you're next. Go ahead, Dave. Martez, what kind of difference could you sense from your position when you had all those defensive linemen back on Saturday? I mean, did it just – did it make – how much better did it make your defense? Uh, it made us tremendously better, but uh, still want to, like, pay a huge credit to, like, Cannon York and, like, those guys who had to you – know, Darius Robinson, guys who had to step in and just, you know what I mean, be big time. Like, I watched guys step up and be big time players, you know. So, uh, but, yeah, it really felt good to see guys that were starters like Trey and uh, Trajan and stuff like that just be able to just step back into that role and just – I mean, it feels really good to be able to uh, have fun and make plays with some of your best friends, you know. Kyle Pinnell, the man here. Go ahead. Hey, Martez. You just talked about uh, the defensive line on the field. I'm kind of curious what they're like off the field. And, and just from your perspective, who would you say is the most outgoing members uh, of the line? And what, what are they just like off the field? Uh, I'd say, in my opinion, the most outgoing member on the defensive line would have to be uh, my also Rockbridge friend, uh, Trey, Trey Williams. He always has a, a smile on his face. And He's always just bringing a lot of energy, and it's just a lot of fun to play with him. And he's always, you know, he's like a big brother because we both went to uh, core. And, you know, I mean, I've just known him since – known him since I was 13, 14 years old. So it's just really fun to be able to just be able to play at the same level as the guys I used to look up to and still do look up to. Jack Sobel, go ahead, Jack. Martez, kind of building off something Peter asked earlier, with, uh, with Gillespie and Bledsoe uh, likely gone next year, uh, you'll probably be the – most experienced guy on the back end. And uh, what have you learned from those two about how to, how to kind of be a leader back there? Um, I mean, it's just uh, just telling guys who maybe who are like me, and you know what I mean, at the beginning of the year who hadn't really been put in these positions, just telling them, like, how much you believe in them and how much, like, you know that they're ready for this moment, you know, and just being a leader on the back end and when it comes to, like, calling plays, lining guys up, and just being a pro, you know, just practicing like a pro and performing like a pro and, communicate like a pro, honestly. And I feel like that's something that they do every game and every practice. 
So yeah. Bob Holt, go ahead. Hey, just wonder what what your take is on Arkansas's offense. They they kind of got a big play look to him, kind of been up and down the run game. What, what what's your take on them? Uh, yeah, they're a really talented offense, and uh, we're we're just gonna have to prepare and just be ready for anything. You know, uh, it's a rivalry game, so you might see some trick plays or some shots early. You know, try to get some momentum swings. But yeah, I mean, I really like they have a really talented offense, and I'm gonna be uh, really excited to play this game. I feel like everyone on the team is like really excited for this game. This is, in my opinion, the first year. It's also my second year here, but first year it feels like a like a legit rivalry, you know. So we're just all just really excited about this game, and uh, yeah, just a lot of respect for their offensive coordinator, their offense, and yeah. Andrew Kaufman, go ahead. Hey Martez, you, you kind of just just hit on it right there, but you know because you know Barry Odom obviously a situation and Eli Drinkwitz being from Arkansas, how much more can you feel the the sense that this rivalry just is kind of heating up this year, especially? Uh, yeah, I'd say that I can I can feel that in a way, but uh, we've been trying to make just in the locker room and on the team just trying to make sure that we're not making it more than it is, which is football. You know, I mean at the end of the day. Like, coaches mean a lot, but it's going to come down to us that are in between those white lines, you know. So uh, I feel like just not making it bigger than it is and just everyone playing together and playing confident is what is going to make our emotions on both teams flare and just make us, like, truly compete at a very high level, which should be a lot of fun. So, yeah. Ben Arnett, KOMU, go ahead. Hey, Martez, uh, when you think about honoring these seniors on Saturday, um, you know, lots of times when you have a coaching change, it's, it's easier for younger players to, to buy in uh, than older players who are only going to be there for a year. Uh, but when you think about these guys, how important has the buy-in of the seniors this season helped lead to, to the success you've had this year under Drink and the staff? Uh, yeah, that I would just say that the buy-in from those seniors, have just like it was crazy. I mean, they – they had no reason to trust Coach Drink or trust his, you know, I mean, his plans or anything he had in store for us, but they did. And I feel like that's, what's, that's what uh, has us at such a strong place and the place that we're happy to be where we are right now, you know what I mean? Just because, like, we had those seniors who, you know, they can dive in after knowing a great guy like Coach Odom, you know what I mean, for four or three years, you know, then there's no excuse for the whole team not to buy in and just jump in there and, and just be all in. And if they're all in with Coach Drake, he's going to make it, uh, you know, worth your while and it's going to pay off in you. And we'll finish up here with Soichi Tirada. Go ahead. Hey, Martez, uh, Eli said it quite a few times today. I think Barrett said it once. It's a, I guess Saturday is a player's game. As as a player, what does that kind of mean? Um, and what what if, what if maybe Eli kind of said about it? Uh, player's game. Hmm. I just say that it's, I mean, yeah, yeah, it's for sure a player's game. And I feel like that's just going to, you know, bring together like emotions and like trash talk and just, you know, I mean, everybody knows what's on the line here. And uh, Arkansas is a really, a a really, really good team this year, you know? So I feel like that's just going to, that's just all like feeding into the, into the audience, into the, just into the momentum of the game. So yeah, it's definitely going to be a player's game. It's just going to be about being there for your brother and making plays and, Everyone doing their job, and uh, it should be a lot of fun, like I said earlier. All right. That'll do it for Martez. Thank you. Thanks, guys.